Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. We're going to be doing willpower and grace today. This is an awesome modality of fitness that combines yoga, strength training, Pilates, balance, all body weight strength exercises, no footwear required. So you're going to want your mat, water towel off to the side, nice open space to move. Join me when you're ready. We're going to start with our barefoot warm up. So we're going to start simply by just drawing our attention to our feet. The feet that we usually put on sneakers and roll out into our workout and half the time they don't come along on the fitness journey. Today, they're part of the fitness journey. They're gonna get stronger. They're gonna help provide us with better balance moving forward. So go ahead and look down at those toes and begin to lift and lower all 10 toes. All 10 toes lift, all 10 toes lower. All 10 toes lift, all 10 toes lower. As you lift the toes, you wanna to spread them apart from each other. Let there be space. We've made that mind-body connection. We're thinking about all the ligaments, tendons, and muscles that sit within those feet. The next time all 10 toes lift, lift them, spread them apart from each other. If you see any toes that have separation anxiety, reach down and manually separate them. Let there be space, 10 lines of energy radiating out and then begin to tap just the big toe, just the big toe taps up and down. Other four toes stay lifted. And then pinky toe begins to tap, just the pinky toe tap, tap. Other four toes stay lifted. And then begin to alternate big toe, pinky toe, big toe, pinky toe. Again, three center toes stay lifted. Feeling that articulation, those small little movements that you can control. And then big toe challenge, big toe goes down, pinky toe goes down, center three toes stay lifted if you can. And then let it go, begin to rock and roll. You wanna to rock to the outside of the foot and the inside of the foot. Rock to the outside, walk, rock to the inside. As we work together, you wanna to think about your footprint on the earth. You wanna use all four points of the foot. Maybe noticing any patterns that you've created. Rock and roll for five, four, three, two. Step forward with the right foot, give it a little bit of weight, and begin to roll over the ball of the foot, breaking up any adhesions. We're hitting all the points that correspond to our reflexology points in charge of our main organs. Now we begin to roll coming from the hip to the knee. To the ankle, roll, roll, awakening. That leg completely reverse direction, circle. Hip, knee, ankle, five, four, three, two. Step that foot back, step the opposite foot forward, give it a little bit of weight and begin to roll over the ball of the foot. Breaking up adhesions, stimulating those major organs through reflexology points. Then begin the roll, hip, knee, ankle, roll. Reverse. Four, three, two, step both feet back underneath you. You're gonna grip with all 10 toes, lift the heels, lower the heels, wiggle all 10 toes. So it's grip, elevate, lower, release, grip, elevate, lower, release, grip, elevate, lower, release, grip. Elevate, lower, release, continue, grip. Elevate, lower, release, last one, grip. Elevate, hold at the top. Fire up the core, find yourself in space, and then we're gonna begin to challenge ourselves in space. We're moving those arms to try to throw ourselves off balance, and then find your way back on balance. Throw yourself off balance, and then find your way back on. Willpower and Grace is great for utilizing a lot of traditional fitness modalities and some non-traditional fitness modalities. This is one of them. We'll be testing our vestibular system today. We'll be working a little bit more and honing balance and space. Four, three, two, let it go. Reset the feet, hip width apart, knees soft, shoulders over hips, lengthen the arms. Reach the fingertips to the sky and then cervical extension begins the work. You're gonna lift the eyes and then reset, straight spine. Inhale, eyes, exhale, reset. Inhale, extend. Exhale, inhale, exhale, four, three, 
two, look up, reach up, think about something you're ready to part with. Three, two, one, let it go, full sweep. Hands draped down by the ankles, release the weight of the head, absorb the movement in the legs. Let it go, exhale, inhale, reach. Exhale, let it go, inhale, reach for three, two. Next time you rise up, take the hands beneath the head, press the elbows back. Envision yourself between two planes, a gap glass. You begin to work that side body. So staying in between those two panes of glass. Side body, lateral flexion, five, four, three, two, full body sweep. The elbow goes down, you bend the knees, the sweep of the flat spine, rise up. There's three, two more. Stimulating that vestibular system. If you're a little dizzy at the top of the next one, that's part of the game. The more we train the system, we better get at responding to it. Good, exhale, the ribs apart, gaze lifts, inhale, exhale. Encouraging deep belly diaphragmatic breath as we work today. Deep belly inhales match with deep belly exhales for three, two, pull the ribs apart, look up, hands beneath the head, press the elbows, we stack, lateral flexion, elbow towards hip. Fire the core, four, full sweep coming in through, two, Full sweep, bend the knees, elbow drops, sweep through the flat spine and rise up. Three more. Last one at the top of the next one. If you're a little dizzy, part of the game, a little pressure on the sides of the head. And then melt down, standing cat cow, hands to the thighs. Inhale, belly to spine, chin, chest round. Exhale, release the belly to the floor, shoulders back, eyes up. Exhale, round. Curl, tuck. Exhale, release. Inhale, curl. Exhale, release. Feel movement from root to crown, crown to root. One more. Neutral spine, drop one shoulder, twist, gaze over the opposite shoulder, hold. Drop the shoulder, revolve the gaze up. Again, drop shoulder, revolve gaze up. Last one. Let the hands meet the earth, bend and extend those legs a few times. And knees bent, head heavy, shake your head yes, shake your head no. She's ragged all arms up to hand, elbow still as their gentle pendulum swing. Reset the arms, reset the feet under the hips, slowly rise to stand. We are done with our barefoot warm up from here. We'll embark on cardio strength. Cardio strength moves to a flexible strength portion. Core, cool down. All done. Barefoot, we'll utilize our mats for the flexible strength. We'll take water in between cardio strength and flexible strength. And we have three levels in mold power and grace. We'll be working with level one and two today. So let's go ahead and just start once again by grounding down, softening the shoulders, opening the chest, finding ourselves in space, breathing. Then begin a squat, little parent grace squats. We let the hips lead back, we press off the thighs, activating the upper body for power and strength gains. Envision a chair behind you, tap the glutes and rise. You're in charge of your range of motion with the squats. Good, squat five. Get ready for a rock step forward, right leg leads forward. Three, two, Rock step forward, right foot steps out, left heel lifts, left heel, right foot steps. Rock forward, back, forward, back. As you step out, spread the toes, create that imprint on the earth. Begin to make that step a little farther, a little deeper. Knees track over toes. Five, four, three, Two, next time you step out, stay out, stationary lunge. Down and up we go, shoulders over hips, knee over ankle, back knee under hip. Down, up. Good, six, five, four, three, two. You're ready for a little balance challenge. In step one, level one, in step sweep, level two. So step, 
Level one, tap. Level two, sweep. Land lightly, softly, without a sound. Lift with strength, power, confidence. Five, get ready to hold at the top in four. Three, two, at the top, hold. Tuck the toes in. Once again, we begin to find ourselves in space, but this time we're gonna challenge ourselves. Close the eyes, see what happens. Revolve those arms around, help with counterbalance. Someone's turned the lights off on us, but we're not gonna fall over. If we do, we find our way back on five. Play with it, four, three. Open the eyes, big wide step out to the right, in step, tap, step, tap. It's called a wide squat, wide leg position, Low with the glutes. Five, four, three, two, double squat. It's one in, zip it up, one out, step it wide. One in, zip it up, one out, step it wide. Level one, stay here. Level two, jump in, jump out, jump in, jump up. Choose a level that feels appropriate. Five, four, Three, two, zip up the legs, down. Up we rise, down, up, knees, thighs together. At the top, lift the arms, lift the heels. Lower the heels, lower the arms. Rise, lift, lower, release. Five, four, three, two, at the top, heels up. Double heel taps. Good. Five. Three. Two. Alternating running. Tap, tap. Ten. Eight. Six. Three. Two. Heel toe feet. Squat. Go ahead and look outside that right ankle. Look forward. Vision something for personal growth and development. Put it outside that right ankle. Reach down, pick it up. Putting value on your own self growth. Begin to manifest whatever that is. Rise up. Heels can begin to lift and lower. Eyes can follow fingertips for more of a balanced challenge. Five. Three. Two. Squat. We're already the quarter way through the cardio strength. Working towards a wide plie position, open the hips at the top, parallel the feet as you drop. Push, open, parallel, five, open it, four, parallel, open it, three, two, open plie, press the walls away, down and up we go, knees track over toes. Open hip position, wide stance. Five, four, three, two, down and hold. Alternating heel taps if you want more challenge. Ten, eight, six, three, two, right leg. Loads up with tension, left toe taps out. Tap, tap. All right. Five, three, two. Tap to the side, step behind, tap, step. Both feet still in turnout, open hip position. Back foot stepping directly behind front foot. Back heel stays lifted. Five, four, three, two. Step the foot back. Curtsy lunge. Turn out position. Back heel up. Front foot blocking back foot. Down, create a diamond. Zip it up at the top. Good. Amazing exercise for targeting and toning the outer thighs. Five. Four, three, 
two, tap to the left, level one, adding that curtsy, tap or sweep into that curtsy, sweep, curtsy, five, four, three, two, wide step to the side, we've arrived in our cougar lunge, big, big, powerful cat-like movements, strength, confidence, and power. Move right, left, begin to tap, right, left. Begin to keep the tap just on the right foot, keep bending the right knee, begin to arrive. So left leg long and strong, tap, arrive. Shoulders back, chest open, arrive. Five, four, three, Two power pull, lead with the elbow, elbow shoulder alignment, tap, rotate and pull. Five, four, three, two, cougar lunge, low and slow. Power, stealth leg movements. Moving to the biggest movement of the series, the crescendo. Right leg is dominant, so both hands slow left. Level one, and step tap. Level two, sweep the leg up, lift the arms. Land softly without a sound. Get low, lift high. Five, four, three, two, at the top, hold. Find balance and open the hip, place the foot anywhere but on the inside of the knee, tree pose. Press the foot. To the leg, the leg into the foot, the palms unite. You have something you're ready to get rid of. Inhale here, exhale, press it away. Think for something you're ready to take in and hold on to. Reach for it, let it manifest. Exhale. Inhale. Find that inner focus, that process of getting rid of what we don't need, pulling in what we do need away, stagnation, holding, self-doubt, negativity, four, three, two, and with the hands, heart center prayer. From here, a little balance challenge. I'm going to turn to the side to create the space I need as we move into warrior one. Warrior one. Standing split. Once you arrive here, do one more challenge, one or both hands, we need the standing leg ankle. And standing split, back up, warrior, step the foot down, big power pull. Three, two, one. Knee draws to elbows, elbows draw to knee. Pull, reach, pull, reach, pull. 10, get ready to hold a nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Nice, step touch, already halfway through. Cardio strength, great work. We take the whole repertoire from the top, take each movement as it comes, take a quick water break after this round of work and then move into flexible strength. Functional squat, find your way there. Feet hip width, hands to thighs, lower, press and lift. Rise up, activate arms. Knees track over toes, lighten toes. Five, four, three, two. Rock step forward, left leg leads, right heel lifts. Tap, rock, tap. Good. You're going to make the step a little farther, a little deeper. Farther, deeper. Good, stationary coming in five, four, three, two, step out. Stationary lunge, square the hips, stack the shoulders, 90, 90, down and up we go. Good, down and up six, five, four, three, two, and step tap. Level one, in step sweep, level two, land, lightly lift. Lift, lower, lift, 
Lower, five, get ready to hold at the top in four. Three, two, at the top, hold, pelican. Once again, let's play with our energy, find ourselves in space, close the eyes. Use those arms as counterbalance. Open the eyes, big step to the left. In step tap, so wide squat again. Shift the glutes down and back. Walk. Five, four, three, two, double squat. One in, zip it up, one out. Wide, one in, one out. Level one, stay here, level two. Jump it in, jump it out, jump it in, jump it out. Five, four, three, two. End of the leg zipped up, rise and fall, knees together. Shoulders back, lift them over the heels, lift, lower, lift the arms, lift the heels. Five, four, Three, two, at the top, left hold. Heels tap, up and down. Four, three, two, running. Find the rhythm. Six, five, four, three, two, feet hip width, rise and fall. Plant that seat of growth by the left ankle. Look at it. Look center. Begin that manifestation. Pick it up. Draw it to center. Pass it off from low left to higher right. Eyes can follow fingertips. Heels can lower and left. Five. Four. Three. Two. Eyes forward. Squat. Open parallel position. Open hip parallel. Four, three, two, open plie. Expand your stance. Press the walls away. Squat. Knees track over toes. Four, three, Two, hold down. Activate heel taps. Load up the legs of power. Ten. Eight. Six. Four. Three. Left leg dominant. Right toe taps. Moving towards that curtsy lunge now. Opposite side. Tap. Tap. Now it's a step to the side. Tap behind. Both feet, still in turn out. Back heel lifted as it steps back. Four, three, two. Step the foot back, reset that stance. Front foot blocks back foot, back heel lifted. Both in turn out, curtsy, rise, squeeze. Outer thigh focus. Five. Four, three, two, tap, step, or sweep. Sweep. Five, four, three, two, big step to the side. We're lunge, we've arrived. Strong cat like movements. Push the weight one way, then the other. Tap the toes. And keep the tap on that left foot. Arrive. Right leg stays long and strong. Tap. Arrive. Rotate and pull. Elbow shoulder alignment. Gaze over shoulder. 
five, four, three, two, cougar lunge. Crescendo, biggest move of the series. Left leg dominant, so both hands float to the right. Get low, lift high, level one. Get low, lift and extend, level two. Rise up, land softly, rise up. Five, four, three, two, at the top, hold. Finding a moment of stillness. Then transitioning to tree pose. It can be a low tree or high, or it could be anywhere but on the inside of that kneecap. Hands to press. Then you move chi, life force energy. Exhale out what you don't need. Inhale in what you do need. Let it manifest. Exhale. Inhale. Reach, pull. Five, four, three, two, hands to heart center prayer. Exploring that balance challenge a little bit more. Turning to the side so I have space. Find my way towards warrior three. To standing split. Extra balance challenge, both hands float to the ankle. On your way back to warrior, letting that leg drop down, power pull, three, two, one, elbows drive, to knee. pull, 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 10, holding in nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Excellent work, step tap, roll out your mat, grab a little sip of water, flexible strength is where we're about to embark. Hydration. Cougar lunge, we've done so many. It seems like an option. Hands can float from the thighs to the mat. Move the energy right, left, and back again. Next time you hinge into that right side, hold. Walk the hands to the inside of the right foot, hold. Lift the right heel, pivot the left toes to the sky. Partial balance or full balance power. I know stillness is a challenge. Release the hands, flow right to left. Then sink into that left side. Walk the hands to the inside of that foot. Lift the left heel, pivot the right toes, arrive. Great work. Stay with it. Five, four, three. Hands to the earth, flow right to left. And send the weight back to that right side. Take both toes to face the side wall. Step back to a high plank position. Hands under shoulders, shoulders, hips, hips through heels. You need to modify, you drop the knees. Belly drawing up and in. Breathe 10. Five. Side plank, hand, shoulder alignment, feet can stack, stagger, or modify. Side where you want to spend your time and hold. Breathe. Five tricep push ups will follow the side plank or we work into the other side, starting in 10. Push ups can be on knees up or knees down. Five. Place the hands. The tricep push up. So close grip, elbows track in. Press up one. Knees down at any point. Two. Three. Four, five, reset, side plank. Take your time to arrive. Bottom hip lifts. Five more tricep push-ups will follow in 10. Five, 
five. Tricep push ups, knees up or knees down. Go. Reset, plank. Set the right foot in, open the left hip, drag the foot in. Have a seat for a moment. We're working towards triangle legs. So, foot, front foot is facing towards the wall. Back foot is turned in slightly towards the side wall. Find that nice expansive stance of triangle. Take a moment. Left hand to the back. Excuse me, right hand to the back of the right leg. Open and close the trap door inside that right foot. Elbow leads. Eyes follow elbow. Next time you look up, elbow arrives, extend up the right triangle. Breathe. Inhale here, exhale, left hand to the back, right leg, square up, and open a trap door on the outside of that right foot. Elbow leads, gaze stays down. Four, three, two, high elbow, stay here, revolve a little bit deeper into the back. Open, breathe. Reverse triangle, 10, five, Release the tension, melt down, shake your head yes, shake your head no. And one vertebrae at a time, peel up. Take both feet to face the side wall, shorten your stance. Pyramid legs. Begin to windmill those arms forward. Opening the shoulder joints, windmill the arms back. Catch the hands behind the low back, drop the shoulders, open the chest, gaze up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Arms can activate overhead, release the low back and meet the mat to pyramid. Head heavy. Breathe into the back body. Breathe into the hamstring, the calf, the glute. Then reactivate the arms overhead or take the hands to the hips, lift the eyes, heart follows, rise up. Inhale, hinge and fold. Exhale, rise. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, rise. Stay here. The pyramid, good morning with the hands on the hips. Are inhale, lengthen arms. Exhale, pull. Elbows reach back. Five. Four. Three. Two. Embrace the hands overhead. Charlie Angel, hands. Open stance, press through the hips, tap shoulders. Gaze follows fingertips. Tap, tap. Using the hamstrings and glutes to support the upper torso as we hinge, we're firing the core. Four, three, two. Hands to the earth, right thumb to the sky, external rotation, five. Four, three, two. Hands like feet walk out to a heart to heart plank. Draw the hands together. Put your true heart over the one you've created. Hold. Got more of a challenge. Shoulder taps. Five, four, three, two. Hold. Walk the hands back to the feet. Begin to revolve that movement right to left again. Sink into that left side, hold. Spin both feet to face the side wall. Step back, high plank. Check in if you need to lower the knees, please do. Belly drawing up and in, plank, side plank on both sides. Five tricep push-ups in between. Stay here, 10. Five, side plank, shoulder, hand, stack, feet split, stacked or staggered. A lot of great options. Lift the hip away from the earth below, breathe. 10, five, tricep push-ups. Again, knees up, four down.
plank to the back of the room. Find your way there. Once you do, hold and breathe. Hip lifts. Fingertips reach. Ten. Final five. Tricep push it. Push ups coming in five. Knees up or down. Five. Plank, left foot forward, open through the right hip, drag it in. Left toes to the side wall, right toes turn in slightly. Begin to lift and lower, creating that triangle base beneath you. Every time you rise, step the foot a little bit farther back, hold. Place the left hand behind that left foot, open and close the trapdoor on the inside of that foot. Elbow leads, and now eyes follow elbow. And with a high elbow, extend the arm or right triangle. Inhale here, exhale, right hand to the back of left leg, open and close the trapdoor on the outside of that foot. Elbow leads, gaze stays down. Four, three, two, high elbow. Stay here, revolve a little bit deeper into the posture. Reverse triangle. And release the arms, release the crown, shake your head yes, shake your head no. Slowly rise up one vertebrae at a time. Take both feet now and face the side wall. Take both arms, circle forward. Both arms, circle back. Embrace the hands behind the low back, drop the shoulders, open the chest, lift the eyes, hinge and fold. Active arms, hands to low back or hands meet the mat pyramid. And the breath to the back body. Enjoy the stretch through the calf, hamstring, glute. And reactivate the arms overhead or take the hands to the hips. Inhale, eyes, heart, rise. Pyramid, good morning. Ten. Biceps forward, squeeze glutes. Stay here, reach, pull, reach, pull. Four, three, two, and with those arms overhead, embrace them. Open the stance, press the heels into the earth, press the glutes back, tap, tap. Five, three, Hands to the earth, left thumb to the sky. Five, four, three, two. Hands like feet walk out to that heart to heart plank. Two heart sits over the heart you've created. Stay here or add taps. Five, three, Hold. The hands back to the feet, begin to revolve right to left. Set both feet together and have a seat. We've arrived, core focus. Begin to roll back, slow, control, movement down. Exhale, rise up, squeeze with an open chest. Lower with control. Lift with control. Lower, lift, two more, lower, full roll back, full roll up, last one. This time roll back, stay back, draw the knees in, gentle rock, right to left, right knee and left leg long, bicycle, gaze over right shoulder, inhale here, exhale, move left, right, left, Right, left, right, 10, nine, eight, seven, six,
six, five, four, three, two. Head heavy, knees to chest, give them a hug. Right leg long, left leg long, hands behind that hamstring. Inhale here, exhale left, right, left, right, left, right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, knees in. Lengthen the legs, toes, heels together. Toes are pointed, weight of the head and the hands crunch. Every time you rise, look at those toe tips. Ten. Five. Head heavy, knees float in, heels place down, palms press down, hips lift, bridge. Stay here, begin to revolve those shoulders underneath you, opening the chest, gaze up. Shoulder, hip, hip through kneecaps, feel that line of energy, stabilize, 10. Five. Release the palms, slow articulation down, knees float in. Gentle rock, right, left. From here on out, we stretch. Right knee in, left leg long, spinal twist. Take that right leg to the left side of the body. Take the left hip under the right and let yourself arrive. The gaze can move over that right shoulder. Top hip pressing forward, shoulder drawing down, back and together. Take one more full breath here, then slowly reset. Hips beneath you, knees to chest hold. Right leg long, left knee in, hold. Left leg moves to the right side of the body, right hip scoots under left. Let yourself become heavy here. Hip forward, shoulder back. Three. Another full breath here. Come back onto the back, draw the knees in one more time. Let yourself roll onto the belly. Take the right arm underneath the forehead, take the left heel to the glute, stretch that quadricep. Hip point presses into the mat, knees draw together. One more full breath here. And release the left. Low the left forearm under the forehead, right heel to glutes, knee to knee. Release the right, shift the glutes, child, arms overhead, glutes sink back. Walk both hands to the left side of the mat, right hand drapes on left, right glute to heel. Move the hands to the right, left hand on top of right, left glutes to heel.
Inhale, arms overhead, sink, glutes, hold. Curl toes, press up, down, we're facing dog. Pedal it out, lift and lower those knees. Keep one heel high, one heel low, hold. Switch. Slowly walk the feet to the hands. On an inhale, rise, exhale, fold and hold. Shake your head yes, shake your head no, rag all arms up to hand, elbow stillness or gentle pendulum swing. Let it go, rise up. Inhale, lengthen the arms, reach the fingertips, move right. Inhale, rise, exhale left. Inhale, rise, exhale right. Inhale, rise, exhale left. Press the chest forward, circle the arms back, inhale, exhale. Inhale, press the palms forward, chin chest. Standing torso, twist. Deep inhale to reach, exhale, release. One, inhale, reach. Exhale, release, inhale, reach. Exhale, release. Find yourself in space, hands to prayer. Take a moment, give your body thanks for moving, for flowing, for getting stronger, working on flexibility, power, all while barefoot. So the feet were able to join the workout today. And think about someone or something else you can send your energy out to. So they also benefit from the work you've done. I thank you for joining me. Be well.